Gage, trade week, of course, is over. The Crows, over. I think, did exceptionally well. Let's have a look at how the Crows came out of it. They picked up Richard Tamling, of course, from Richmond, and all they had to give up for him was the Nathan Bock compensation pick that they got, yep. which is a third band, which is a round one late pick, and a third round pick. So I think it was a pretty good deal. I'm a Tamling fan. Well, the jury stood out with Richard Tamling. As I said earlier, generally, he's been at Richmond for six years and really hasn't set the world on fire. He was, if he was that's a good a player, then I don't think Richmond would have let him go as easily as they have. Look, the, from my point of view, the jury's out on Richard Tamley. I hope for the kids' sake and the crow's sake he does well, but uh, the jury is still out. All right, I think in Craigie's system and getting away from all the pressure and the expectation he had to live right. in at Melbourne, I think he's going to be a beauty. This one we are excited about, though. Sam Jacobs, Cage. The Crows had to give up pick 33 and 67 to Carlton to get him, and I think they have got a diamond. Well, they've done a terrific job there because uh, Carlton wanted pick 14 and the Crows were adamant they wouldn't, they wouldn't give up pick 14, so they've got a very good deal there. I've only seen uh, a little of the young man swim against Sydney in the final. I thought he played... Extremely well. He's an Adelaide boy. He wants to come home, so he ticks all the boxes, and uh, they are definitely short of big men. So that's a huge plus for Adelaide, and only a young boy, and I think that's that's great, a outstanding. All right, the power cage. Of course, they tried to move on Motlop to get Andrew Walker, but that one fell over that's for them. Disappointing for both Port Adelaide and Motlop. Jimmy. All right, see if we can follow this one. Of course, the Gold Coast picked up Nathan Cracker, and of course, Power were given a compensation pick Correct. for Cracker, a round two pick. Power traded that round two pick back to the Gold Coast. And for that, they picked up Simon Phillips from Norwood and picked 35. Well, young Simon Phillips, I've seen him a couple of times. He, he can play. He's had a, a, a pretty good season with Norwood uh, in the SNFL. Now, whether he can take the next step up, obviously Port Adelaide looking for someone with a bit of pace. Uh, he certainly got that. Can play. I've seen him with Norwood. But as I said, uh, that's an interesting pickup by Port Adelaide. Very interesting pickup. Well, I'll be to see how it unfolds. Got a busted jaw in the grand final did, of the SNFL. So uh, yeah. hopefully he gets back from that one OK. And of course, the Crows, I did forget to mentioned had to give up well Griff they talked about yeah, going back to, to WA for personal yeah. reasons so he went to Frio they got a round fair four enough. selection 61 yeah, so enough. I think that's Super all worked out pretty parties. well Griff wanted to go home his, uh, his dad is uh, not well so that's fair enough and uh, had he stayed here he, his mind wouldn't have been on footy so it's good that uh, the Griff's gone back it's a good one for him too because he'll yes. back up Aaron Sanderland yeah. so uh, it's oh, a nice it's one so uh, they got a young player. kid there but yeah. he's a few years off so yeah. Griff's in a good spot I think no so doubt about not too bad I want to ask you this one though Cage Tarrant oh, made his way to God. Collingwood, which is a fantastic coup for Collingwood. Oh. Now, Tarrant said, I'll retire if I don't get picked up by Collingwood. Mm. Is he manipulating the trade? Well, I don't know whether he's manipulating the trade. Uh, you know, he, he said he would retire. If he'd said to, to the people, uh, if, I'll only play for Collingwood, so don't anybody else pick me up, uh, well then... Uh, that, that, that's a different kettle of fish. Hasn't he just it, worded a little well, creatively you, then? You might well be right there, gentlemen, but that is a great pickup. Oh. That adds an enormous amount of depth to their defence. He was terrific for Frio last year, copped a few injuries, he's going back home. Collingwood, you've done it again. Well, jolly and ball last oh. year, outstanding. Tarrant this year, you've got to give it to Collingwood. What does it mean for Preston Giacomo? Is that well, well, he was, he might was have harpooned him, has it? Yeah, I, I would suggest that that's, that's a great pickup and that strengthens uh, the Collingwood Football Club. And we didn't need that to happen, did we? All right, a couple of great things, though, Cage. Uh, Marcus North answered his critics the he best did. way he could with a magnificent yeah. 128 over there in Bangalore. Well, he, he's, he's made that score under an enormous amount of pressure, gentlemen, because had he missed in this test match, he could have said au revoir to uh, him playing in the Ashes. So to make 128 at a time when Australia needed the partnership and to do it like that, well done, Marcus, all under an enormous amount of pressure. All right, and the little master, Tendulkar, oh. of course, passed 14,000 test he, runs. He's just a champion for the sport, isn't he? He would have to be the second best player to Bradman. No, no, and, and I didn't see it on on Bradman play, but his record speaks for itself. But Tendulkar, the first player in the history of the game to make 14,000 test runs, he has to be second to Bradman.